My name is Gerald Wesley. I'm the chief negotiator for the Tsimshian First Nations treaty making process, in this case for Kitsumkalem and Kitslas. Uh, I happen to be from the community of Kitsumkalem and I carry title there. My name is Samoigat Bilaha, uh, which is one of the chiefs of our Raven clan. Um, Today we're, we're in part of the traditional territory of Kitsumkalem. Behind me you can see the Kitsumkalem Lake. Uh, I like to let remind myself and let our members know that if I'm standing here and I look around, it doesn't matter which way I look, this is the territory of Kitsumkalem people. Uh, our forefathers existed here. They traversed the waters, a canoe from one end to the other. Uh, if you look at the hillsides, much logging activity now, but uh, in my mind, I, I see uh, encampments of our people during berry picking season in the summertime, for example, going up the mountainsides to pick berries and they were to, to hunt for bear and for mountain goats in the mountain tops. And on the waters, of course, there was salmon that would come through and into their spawning grounds in and around the Kalem, the Kalem River Valley and, and the Kalem Lake is probably the biggest part of uh, the, the lifeblood of the Kalem people. It flows into the Kitsum Kalem River and that, that's what our people lived on and, and based ourselves on was uh, the Kalem River Valley and, and uh, its watershed. As negotiators, treaty negotiators, we've been trying to do is ensure that we we continue to have access to our land, our traditional lands, um, but in, in tomorrow it won't be just access, it will be absolute authority. We will have land ownership of treaty settlement lands. Um, we'll have lawmaking and decision-making authority over what we can do and what others might do over our lands. And we're going to have influence and decision-making uh, authority in some respect to areas that aren't part of our treaty settlement land but within what we view as traditional territories. We'll have much greater and expanded economic opportunities. Uh, that's going to provide for us to, to add and complement the social requirements of our communities. Records are, are easily identifiable at Kitsum Kalem and Kitslas that shows some of our forefathers standing in front of government envoys and saying, this is our land, all we want is the opportunity to, to um, confirm that and, and continue to look after ourselves the way that we always have. And one of the things that is important for us as far as treaty making though is that we won't be standing alone. You know, and I, I don't see us as Kitsum Kalem or as a Kitslas saying to, to the city of Terrace or local government or the regional district or the RCMP that you folks go away now, we don't need you, we've got our own. I think it's going to be very important for us to continue to have a, a positive relationship with, uh, with our neighbours that, that are as well established in this valley as we are right now. And, I mean, I don't think that any of us feels that, that uh, we can be so successful that we would have our own hospital that we would have our own dedicated stores, uh, supermarkets. Uh, I mean, it would be nice if we did, or schools, for example. But I think that we have to, to realize that at least on the next foreseeable future, we've got to cooperate with, with good neighbors that are around us. Uh, we want to get stronger, and if we get stronger, I think it's going to make the city of Terrace, for example, stronger than it is right now.